Hi, my name is Tamara Waters, trainer with MFR MLS. This is going to be a quick video on how to change your saved searches into an auto email. Those auto emails may have been ones that you had in ML Exchange or Fusion and they have been imported into the matrix system. So first off, let's go into the matrix system and see where we can find those imported saved searches. When you're in matrix, if you go to the My Matrix tab, and then we want to go down to the item Saved Searches. That is where all your searches have been imported into from the ML Exchange or Fusion system. Those searches will have the word imported in front of them and then the name of the search that you gave them in ML Exchange and Fusion. Now to turn those into an auto search, what you need to do is find the one that you want to work with and click on that link from that search. So I'm going to use the search here called Castleberry Active and all I have to do to expand that out to get the search menu is to click on the word Castleberry Active and now you'll see the menu for your search settings. So we have settings, criteria, results, date sense, market update, and delete. So to turn this into an auto notification or an auto email or drip campaign not sure what you call it on a normal basis, but to do that we want to click on settings. So click on settings. When that opens up, it's going to take you into the saved search settings. And saved search settings are different than auto email search settings. So for a saved search setting you'll notice that there is only one requirement and that is the search name how do I know what's required? It's because the search name is in yellow. But to turn this into an auto email, the matrix system has made that very easy for you. All you have to do is go right above the search name and click on the link where it states turn this saved search into an auto email. So click on that link. When you click on that link, it will take you into your auto notification settings. From your auto notification settings, I can tell that we're in here because we have two things that we have that are required. First, we have to make sure that it's linked to a contact. If your saved search was linked to a contact within your saved search, that contact name will come over. And the next thing is, is that we have to give your new auto email a search name. And that search name will actually be the subject of the email. Try to be as specific as you can about your name for your search as your, because your customer will be able to see this on their customer portal. So my search name was Castleberry Active and that is descriptive enough for me to use again because that's all this particular search was looking for was active listings in the Castleberry area. So in this case I'm going to copy the name of that search and I'm going to paste it right in the subject of the email. And again, the subject of the email is the name of your search. The body of the message, I am going to leave that blank because actually the matrix system gives them a nice portal greeting email message if you leave the body of the message blank. So I'm going to leave that blank and then I'm going to go down toward the bottom of the page and then you're going to see your section that says schedule. This is very similar to the schedule that you had in ML Exchange and Fusion. You have the option for ASAP to send the emails as soon as possible, meaning a new property has matched your search criteria. Daily. Do you want the emails to go out on a daily basis? We have a new enhancement for daily because we could send it not only to go out in the morning, but also in the evening. And then monthly. Once you have chosen those options, Click on save and now you're done. A couple of things to notice here at the top of the page updated auto email Castleberry active. Right now I am in my saved search folder. In the saved search folder I no longer see Castleberry active because it's now an auto email so I have to go to my matrix and auto email from auto email. If I type in Castleberry, you'll see there is my Castleberry active search. 
Right now it also states, you'll see that green circle. When I hover over that green circle, it does let me know that the client must first click on the email link, which has already been set to them to activate this search. So once they click on the link to view the properties, then this search becomes active. And that is how you turn an save search into an auto email. I mentioned when we were turning our auto email into a save search to leave the body of the email blank. So I also wanted to show you what your customer will see if you leave that message area blank. Remember I didn't put anything in there? I actually get this really nice message that says welcome to the portal. And it gives them some information about the portal page. And then there's a link to those listings that were just turned into the auto notification. Your email signature is in there. It lets you know about your auto notification will be active. And then it also gives you some information about how to unsubscribe from the email if you want to. So that is the welcome to the portal email message.